usually at this time of the season you want to be involved you know it, we say knots is never boring well it isn't because we somehow managed to make a mediocre or what well really it results in the results as a result say rather poor into the season look um, not very boring at all because even when we're not involved in the promotion or relegation battle there's still something going on at the lane as there is now we've never lost six home games on the bounce in our entire history if we do today if we lose today well that's a record broken we were breaking records last season for the good reasons it's a big six games because the owners and well Stuart if he's still here I've got a big decision to make regarding players. We've only ever beaten MK once and we still haven't won at home under Stuart Maynard. So yeah, it all bodes well for today. Come on Nuts, come on you pies, let's do this. Chicks in his back in at left wing back, Jones is on the bench because um, he's just had a, he's just had a, uh, a, a baby so congratulations to him. Um, Ashby Hammond is back in goal. Warner is back on the bench, as is the returning Kedwin Scott. Oh, it's been a long time. You beautiful, beautiful man. Really good intensity so far, and we've had the first real chance. And again, we've got to take it, and we haven't. Like, how many times under Stuart Maynard have we had the first proper clear chance, and we haven't taken it? Jackson with a great cross, Shatter for header, he's got to score. Just like Macro Rex, and just like um, Didzy at Swindon and Matsu. Max Dean scores, it was a good finish, but now he's just, now he's had a mardi at everything since, because no, he's got to celebrate the important not stand for some reason. Yeah, Maka hit the ball as well. When your look's not, when your look's not there, it just isn't there. And then a good ball across by Aaron. And nobody was in there, it got cleared. I want to say we're playing better, we are, but we're still like a yard or two too slow. But we're, we're still taking one or two many touches before we make the pass. <laughs> it needs to be just that little bit quicker. Mac had a shot deflected out for a corner, which made no use, which made nothing from. Got to press, got to run, got to move. That's actually what we come for. That's what we come every week to watch and hopefully to see 100% commitment, absolute, and every single player out there today so far is an 8 out of 10 or better, there's, there's commitment, we're moving the ball quickly, we're getting forward, there's some positive intent. Well done. Chatter again. Oh. What's going on here? They're queuing up at the back post. Chatter, the man and Crowley all queuing up. Austin's gone off the bus stop. Austin. Austin has been ill recently, so it's not surprising. You know when you work on it, it's a lot different. You know? And then look how much. The amount we've pressed today as well. We have been, it's we have that's what I mean about the today. press. Yeah. Yeah. We've been pressing so much more today than we have done. Oh, yeah, two seconds. Oh, ten minutes was nice. Yeah. Hey, Lewis. It didn't 
look like it when it was going up here? Yeah. Ward off for Macaulay. I don't know if Macaulay's carrying a knock or something. And kind of started to take a bit more control of possession. We kind of like we kind of sat back a little then for for, for a period of time. Yeah, we need to give something for them to think about. We're no longer winning the second ball as much either. We kind of need to give them something to think about. Like I said, maybe Jody on. Titchen's not played far down that left hand side, but we really do need to give them something. Because we're not as we're not committing as many men forward as we were. There's two changes for Knox. Jatter is off and Ditsy's on for him and Jones is on for Chickson. Fair dues to Chickson, he's actually had a decent game. Um, Jatter getting himself on the score sheet yet again. What a guy. Could go either way. Could go either way in a minute. Keep that going, Aaron. Stop playing, Aaron. They just felt like, I don't know why, but they just felt like an inevitability of, uh, 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 of that first goal. Interesting. Now create the space! A bit of invention there. Robbo denied the space to the MK man, allowing Jones, allowing Jones a free cross, and the man was there at the back post. We didn't even know he was on side or not. That's why we like stopped for a minute when we celebrated. Yes. That was a real top of the table performance that was. There was everybody gave everything. Real intensity, positivity. Uh, we deserved to win that game, we really did. Absolutely fantastic to win. And to some people I've seen on the internet this week, who said they're not coming, but you missed it. It's a three-all draw home to MK. And you know what? I've got to give credit to the players. Um, because we 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 put in the effort today. There was a performance there. We put in the effort. We still didn't win, but it's a massive improvement in terms of you know the effort and performance-wise than we have seen previously. The intensity and the how we got on the front foot early on was good. Jatter's header went over. Uh, that might have been after Max Dean scored. Um, it was a really good finish, to be fair. Um, <laughs> tried to wind up, tried to wind up the cop. Um, he didn't do much after that, though. Yeah, lesson number one: never wind up the cop. Got back into it though. We we, we passed well. In some stages, though, I feel like we were taking one or two many touches on the ball. Um, you know, to release it, we could have like played the pass quicker but we got our reward just before our time the man with a really good ball through to Crowley their defender and their goalkeeper don't like properly sort themselves out yes it's poor there but it's still a good pass through to Crowley um and then Austin's there um to score Macker had ha actually hit the bar before that it was a really good um he drove in from the from the left and you know well if that's any other club in this league you know it goes in but you know, it's us, so why would it go in? Um, it's like it's like the their their first goal. Any against any other team, that's hitting the ball going over, but because it's us, it goes in. We start the second off. Well, the pressing for the second goal. Where's that been? One of the things that made us so successful last season, and there it was being just right on show for our second goal. Chickson's there. He, you know, runs and. To retrieve the ball, takes it round their defender, keeps it in with a lovely cross. And Alessandro Jatta, what a header! What a header, no saving them right in the corner beyond the keeper. And what a signing he's turning out to be. 
you know, oh, why didn't we focus on the defense? Yes, we needed to focus on the, on the defense, but we needed to bring in a striker because we had Maka. Uh, Kevin was out injured. Genie Marais is, was in and out of the squad. Did see, well, we played him more in the attacking midfield role. We basically only had Maka to play up front. So, yes, yes, we did need a striker in January. The problem is they felt like an inevitability. It was very, uh, it was still early on in the second half and it still felt like an inevitability that MK would come back into the game. And they made a change and they scored their equaliser. It's hit Makari and then Harrison puts it in the corner. And oh, it's, it's frustrating. The word frustrating has come up a lot in, <laughs> in, a lot in recent months. But yeah. Um, Bostock came on for Austin. Now I've seen many, I've seen many people question this substitution, and unless Austin, you know, Austin was out the game on Friday at Swindon because he was ill. Now, if that's due to that, and you know he's still not fully ready to play a whole ninety, I completely understand. Uh, one on for Makari. I think Makari was carrying a knock or injury. I felt like he was limping a bit when he went off. I don't know. I, that one I I completely understand. Even if Jaden Muller does, does you know keep Ellis Harrison on side for their third goal. Baldwin steps up. Cameron steps up. Jaden Muller doesn't step up, and you know he looked offside at first. But I look back at the replay, and it's just like yeah, he's keeping him on side. Mk went one nil up, and we had the mentality to come back from it. We didn't let our heads drop, and we came back. And went well. Yes, we were two one up. Then they went. Then they turned the game around. But our heads didn't drop them, and we came back onto the attack. And we didn't. We didn't give up. And in the end, the man is there at the back post after a very interesting corner routine. Jody with a great ball in, and Aaron the man gets ahead of his man at the back post to make it for We could have even won it at the end. Crowley with another very inventive. Well, not so very inventive free kick. Crowley plays it to Maka. He's free. He runs through into the penalty area. He plays it across the box. And nobody's there. And if Didzy maybe just throws himself at the ball, if you like, with his with his leg or something like that, then you've got a win right there against the form team in the league. And the frustration is, where is where where has this performance been? Where has this level of effort been over the last few games? If we put in this level of effort against Salford, against Swindon, against Gillingham, against Sutton, we would have won them games. Where has it been? And this is the biggest frustration for me as well. Like, you can't just play well today and then not back it up against Harrogate or Warsaw. You can't just, like, put it into... They look like they were playing for Maynard today. They didn't look like it against Swindon. They didn't look like it against Salford. You know, where has these where has this level of effort been for the last, like, 10 games or so? We've not pressed like we have done today, like we have in any other game. And that is what one of the things that made us so successful last season. But you can't just do it today. You've got to do it in every game. You've got to apply... You gotta apply yourself like that in every game. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, to lose.